um, I am Abiodun Chon, CEO of K9 Chon, and I am a dog trainer. And I know I defy sound of that, you might probably want to click off, but hold on. I have some important things to say that you might want to hear about the case of um, Roxy, the American bully that was shot three times. Okay, I get the fact that a lot of you that are justifying it don't like dogs. And that is totally understandable. We cannot all like the same thing, but I am telling you to. I'm not telling you to like dogs. I'm telling you to be human. Just put away all your anger, hatred for dogs, because I know a lot of it is going to be born from personal experiences. But I'm telling you to just put that away for a minute. And let's look at this. He reported his dog missing by four. Went around, searched the estates, reported it missing again when he still didn't see it. And his, this man said he came out in the morning to do something in his compound and he saw a dog there and he called the estate security. So my, my first question is, when he called the estate security, why didn't they come? to act on the estate law and kill it immediately. Why did they have to wait for 10 a.m. as like how many hours later before they now called him and told him they found his dog and when he got there, they didn't allow him to take the dog and killed it in his front. Why even that time he used to move from the gates to the house where the dog was, why didn't they kill the dog in that time? Not that I'm saying it was right to kill the dog, but why did they have to do it in front of him? That's the first thing. Then secondly, I want to debunk the fact that that dog was aggressive. That dog wasn't. And I know the next thing you will say is, oh, how, how will I know? How are you supposed to know? You just see a strange dog in your house. How are you supposed to know whether it's was aggressive or not? But what is doing rounds now is that it chased him and his family, which is not the case. Because firstly, if you look, if you look at the video, very, if you look at the video or you hear from what he's saying, that dog hid behind the generator. And even when they were coming close to it, she was running away from them. Then how would you say a dog is aggressive? And you would lock yourself. You that you that you're, you're scared of dogs, right? So if you see an aggressive dog, if an aggressive dog enters your compound, what will you do? Won't you try to look for every possible way to make the dog leave your compound? So why would you lock everywhere? Definitely the dog entered from somewhere because he entered in the middle of the night. The dog entered from somewhere. And this dog was scared. So definitely she would look for ways to get to go out. But she couldn't see any way. He locked, so he locked the gate and locked every possible escape route. How would you lock yourself in? Do you, do you think about it. As how would you lock yourself in with a dog that you say is terrorizing you and trying to attack you and your family and your children? Does locking yourself in as a parent, locking yourself in, does that show responsible parenting? Does that show that you are really scared of the dog? That is that. Then another, another instance I'm going to bring to you is you saw the dog, you locked this dog in. And if that dog was aggressive, how would you come so close to the dog to shoot the dog? I've worked with aggressive dogs, turning them calm. I've worked with all manner of dogs. And trust me, you would, a dog that he claims was terrorizing him the way he says it was, you won't be able to come close before you can even put the bullet in that gun and cock it at such close proximity as he did. The dog would have pounced on you so i think we, we we need we actually need to yes you don't like dogs and like i said in the beginning i'm not telling you to like dogs because there are things you like i don't like but let's put that aside and call a spade a spade and the main point i want you to say from here is how would you lock yourself in your compound 
with a dog you claim is aggressive why won't you look for ways carry stone carry whatever and try to pursue the dog out of your compound how would you lock yourself with a dog that you claim is aggressive for over four hours does that make sense and i know a lot of incidents have happened in the estates because i heard this law is born from a series of biting sprays that dogs went on and i totally get that even though that doesn't con um that doesn't excuse the law i feel the law should have been something like if your dog bites because there's a way part of the estate, if your dog bites you pay a fine of hundred thousand the case is taken to the police and you are walked out of the estates so if your dog that, that's that is honestly something i think humane coming from a dog lover point of view that is something that i see as humane not just the outright killing of the dogs and i'm not excusing it i'm not saying dogs biting people it's um it's good because i'm a big advocate for of not like allowing your dog be aggressive but when we are doing things we actually need to think and actually be humane about it and I guess that a lot of this is coming from those biting sprays that went on in the estates. And seriously, my deepest condolences to everyone that was harmed during that and all that. But this there is no how you can tell me that this particular case, they were acting in your interest. Because if he was really scared of that dog, and if that dog was really terrorizing him, like I said, he won't lock himself in with that dog. He won't at all.